everyone, I'm Yolanda from Yalcrest Channel and in this week's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make a little, what I call a memories tray. Here I use some pictures of my grandkids and put some different little things on there to embellish it. This could be used for a jewelry tray or even to put little goodies. I'm also collaborating with my friend Jennifer Priest. She's going to teach you how to make a different tray. Hi, I'm Jennifer Priest and I'm so excited to be doing this collaboration with Yolanda. Today I'm going to show you how to make this DIY coffee station starting with these supplies. I'm going to talk about stain, distressing with paint, varnish, and stamping with wood stamps. I hope you'll come over and watch the video. See you soon! Okay, so what I all you need to do is go through your files. I got these off of my computer, but you can need to actually use real photos. I didn't want to use up, cut up my real photos that were printed, and so I just went to the computer, downloaded some pictures, tried different sizes, sizing them a bit different things. I used the pick monkey here just to get different sizes, and then once you have that, I actually went ahead and cut out the actual pictures that I decided to use, and then on my acrylic tray that I got from the dollar store. I kind of just cut them all up and laid them out uh, different places where I thought they might look good. You can do it whichever way you prefer. You don't have to put all the pictures. You can cover it everywhere. It's totally up to you. Once I have them laid out, I got a good idea. I put my Mosh Posh into a little container. Use a thicker brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of lay these out in the same order that I'm going to lay, put them in here. So what I mean by that, I'll show you right now. If you see my thing here, I'm laying them out in the spaces that I'm going to be using them in so that I know where they're going to go. There's there's three little spaces here. You could also do this on a regular, um, uh, regular uh, round trays, flat trays. I just really like this because it had little spaces. I don't want to put my pictures here on the inside because I want to be able to put candy or other trays and I'm just going to use this like at a coffee table as a little memory tray. I'm actually going to be decoupaging them to the bottom. So once I have that, I already know that all I need to do is flip it over. I know that my first, I'm going to start with the middle one here. I'm going to put in some decoupage on there. Get my first photo. I'm going to move this up here. And then I can lay that photo where I want it to go. See, I'm working on the bottom. Just cover the bottom. And then I'm going to do a second coat once I have that in place. Slide it around. Now I know that I want it this. Next photo is going to go here. And I cover the whole space even though it's not the photo's not gonna go there because I want to make sure it has the same texture. Oops, I got a little bit spilled there. Put it there. And if you have stickers, anything else, you can put them here. I'm gonna put some little tissue on there, but for now that's gonna be okay. Now I need the top one. My top photo that's gonna go up here. And you just put as many photos as you want. You can overlap them. You can do whatever you want. I just decided that I'm going to do it this way here. Get it on there. I'm going to check to make sure it's pretty straight. Yep, it looks pretty straight. Sorry guys, I know that's kind of hard to see right now. It's not as focused as I would have hoped. That's all you do. Attach all your photos.